Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year and that you managed to connect or see some of your family this Christmas. It was very different for us, it was very quiet um, but it, we did make the most of it and we had a lovely break as a family. In the last few days however we have gone into another national lockdown in the UK and I feel that this video uh, might actually be very timely for a lot of people um, that might be struggling at the moment. If you have been following my channel um, then you will know that over the years I have um, suffered from depression. Now a lot of people describe um, depression in a way that resonates with me um, in terms of some sort of uh, fog, it's a sadness that I, uh, it, it goes deeper um, than sadness and for me it also includes <clears throat> um, emotional uh, withdrawal and it is again it's something that I have talked about on my channel before um, but what um, I have done is I have prepared a daily checklist now um, I am going to link it in the description box below um, to this document um, that so that if you wanted to print it or look at it then absolutely you can but really I think it's about creating your own um, checklist now the purpose is that a lot of these things I feel help me stop spiralling into um, depression or a deep sadness. So it's just things that I try to do um, to secure my um, mental health. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through them and just sort of explain each one and give you some examples of the things that I do. So the first one is um, do less and say no. Now when you feel like you are um, spiraling into um, depression doing less can sometimes be easy you don't really want to do anything but actually what this is about is all those extra little things those activities those things in your mind of i should do this i should do that um i my view is no at the moment I need to focus on getting myself out of this fog so I will make sure that I do less and I simplify what I'm doing so I can just get through the day or get through the week that may well involve saying no and I don't and that could mean saying no to um, a family member and um, to do something for them um, it might be not putting your hand up to volunteer to do something at work all those extra little things that just put those extra stress and burdens on you it's like you just need to make sure that you are looking after yourself and saying no um, for me is a key um, part of that the second thing I've got on my list is have less and organize one thing now I think we all know the value of decluttering and after Christmas I really tried hard to declutter my Christmas decorations, lots of things in the attic and looking around my house it just makes me feel lighter when I have less um, and also obviously you're not attracting or you can see so much dust if you have less things um, and things can have a home you know you've only got so much space in your home and actually if you have less it's much easier to keep things tidy and because I enjoy organizing if I make sure that I organize one thing and I do not mean like a whole room I mean like a drawer or not even a drawer it could be like a basket within a drawer if I organize one thing clean it out or whatever it just makes me feel a little bit better the next thing on my list is eat well and drink well and I've put drink water now I do think that when I'm starting to feel some depression is on its way Sometimes eating well just goes out of the window for me and I start eating more rubbish, things that are easy to grab for. But actually that is the time when it's really important to meal plan, to think about what you're eating, to start looking in some cookbooks and I've got some new recipes that I'm looking at that I can make for our family and actually make sure that actually I'm nourishing myself rather than just filling myself up with junk because I can't be bothered because that then makes you feel worse as well. Well, I want to drink well. I have actually started um, dry January, which 
probably is a bit mad considering um, that you say it's a lockdown, but I do feel better. I've only been doing it for like a week um, and I feel better. And so I want to drink more water. So I'm making an effort to do a bottle of water a day with some lemon slices in and just be sipping that through the day um, just to make myself feel better. The next thing on my list is to write it down. Now, um, when I was talking about how um, I can get some emotional withdrawal, I can find it really difficult to talk about how I'm feeling. So I try to make an effort to write things down. Sometimes it's not full sentences. It will just be like a spidergram of things that are worrying me, concerns, um, things that are just niggling me, and I'll just write them all down. And sometimes doing that can help me put them into perspective, but also find a way to talk about them if they continue to be an issue. Um, so definitely try to get into the habit of having a safe private place where you can write things down. The next thing on my list is positive messages. Now, this is something that I started to do last year. I want to make sure that I am only allowing positivity, positive messages um, into my life and into my brain right now. So at one stage, oh, for years really, I've been reading like detective novels, thrillers, things like that. But I sort of come to the conclusion that I actually don't think they're very good for me. And what I want is positive messages that actually add something to my life so whether that be self-help books or autobiographies which I love to read about other people's lives things that make me feel good and um, that's the kind of stuff that I want to allow in right now and the same is true for television so um, I, we used to watch things like you know Scandi Noir detective um, programs and we watched a couple recently, or we started to watch a couple, and I'm and I've just said I, I'm I don't want to watch this. I'm not interested. I want to watch something that's I is going to be positive, make me laugh, heartwarming, make me think. That's what I want from programming. That's also what I want from social media. So if I have things on my feed that aren't making me feel good and not positive in my life, then I'll just unfollow them and move on. The next thing that I've got is to laugh. I think it's so important at some point in the day that you should laugh. So unless um, I've, I've got some kind of positive messaging through watching some comedy and laughing um, at the TV or some clips um, from YouTube, whatever it is, um, but it might also just be laughing with your children, um, all sorts of things. It's so important to laugh every day at something and it can just help take you out of yourself. The next thing I've got is self-care and I think it's important every day that we all do some sort of self-care and sometimes for me it can be a really small thing. Um, a big thing is that I love to do my nails um, and I've carried on doing that throughout you know the pandemic because I like to feel um, groomed but it might just be something like blow drying my hair instead of leaving it wet um, or having a bath or taking some of the really nice toiletries that I had for Christmas into the bathroom and using them and having a bit of a pamper um, that for me you know that is self-care and we all deserve to do some of that every day the next thing I've got is go outside and this probably also links um, with the next one which is move um, so at some point in a day I want to make sure that I've gone outside so if the weather's okay I want to go and sit in the garden for a few minutes or I'll go and walk around Around the block at the very least um, for my moving one um, because it is so important to get outside get some sunshine um, and just wonder in the things um, around us in nature um, without a try not to look at my phone and things like that and just take in the things around me it's so important to go outside as I said I feel that links with move so I want to make sure I go outside I've been trying to go for a walk in my local area every day um, but I want to move more so I work from home I work at the computer but I often find I'm just sat there for long periods and it's really important to move more. So I have started doing some exercise, which again is 
making me feel a lot better but I'm not committing to exercise I'm committing to moving <laughs> so the exercises I've been doing are on the Heather Robertson YouTube channel and she's brilliant I mean some of the workouts are quite hard to be fair um, and I don't do them every day but one thing I do do if because I want to have this goal to move more is if I have a half an hour uh, workout I'll split it into three so I do 10 minutes in the morning 10 minutes before lunch and 10 minutes in the afternoon so I split up my day and move and that's really good I feel like I've done a workout but it it's hardly had an effect on uh, my time in my day so um brilliant check her out she's fantastic the last one that I've got is talk to someone you love and this is where I really have to listen to my own advice. So if I feel the fog, the darkness coming, it's so important to tell somebody that you love that that is happening and that is what you're experiencing. I did learn a while ago that it's really important that person that you tell perhaps understands a bit about you and how you're feeling so because I know that I emotionally withdraw when things are hard I looked up some articles about it asked my husband to read so that read them so that he would understand a bit more about what happens with me I know that emotionally withdrawing and I mean not being able to talk not not communicating well doesn't work I know that it doesn't work but it's something that I seem to do automatically so if and what's great is that my husband is brilliant at starting to pick up those signals of when things are really stressful when I can't speak when I'm withdrawing and he is really good at saying what's going on with you can we talk about it and quite often if I've written things down and I make sure that I talk, then actually I can often come out of it and find solutions um, quite quickly and start to feel better. So I hope I might have helped some of you. I hope my daily checklist is something that you might consider doing. Um, I have got this laminated so that I can tick every day um to make sure that I'm doing these things and actually it's it's a visual like my kids my kids can see it um but actually I think it's so important to work on your mental health and not be scared afraid um to talk about it and how you are feeling um I think you can feel quite ashamed of it and it's really you shouldn't be because so many people are going through similar struggles um, and are just trying to find their way but are often just putting a brave face on it as women as a mother as a daughter we take on so much and are so quick to say I'm fine I'm okay when we're really not okay and you're worth it and I hope that message gets through you are valuable you are worth taking the time to have something like this to help you Sometimes we don't feel like we have very much worth, but please remember that you are precious to your friends and your family um, and that you are worth taking the time to secure your mental health and be working on yourself every day. Thank you for watching today. If anything has resonated with you, then please leave me a comment. I love interacting with my subscribers um, and getting involved and getting to know you. If you are new to this channel and you, you found me through this video, then please consider subscribing. Lots of love to you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye.